Following two heart transplants before the age of 28, Eric Compton is enthused about the next chapter in his life. He had his second transplant, and of course it's hard to see somebody that you love going through what he's been through. It's been tears, it's been, you know, sadness, but, you know, of course we had a lot of faith that he was going to get better. I've lived most of my life with, with dealing with this. This is who I am, and I'm constantly reminded by just listening to my heart or watching TV or whatever. Everything is amazing about his story. He got married shortly after the second heart transplant. Shortly after that, he had uh, a daughter. Compton's new heart, as well as new family, breathed new life into a body that had already failed him twice. <laughs> Barbara has been an angel in my life. And I know it's been really, really hard on her, and she's handled it great. I was just very lucky to meet a beautiful girl who's got a beautiful soul. It's never been an option for me to just say like, oh no, okay, I'm gonna leave him. I always knew that I wanted to be with him and support him. His wife and daughter provide plenty of support. You gonna hold the hose? Hold the hose. Okay. But the daily struggles are something that even they can't mitigate. Transplant patients need to be monitored for rejection. So if you don't take the medications, your body reacts against a foreign um, organ. We do cardiac catheterizations, we, we do biopsies of the heart, we, we do ultrasounds, we do stress tests. Uh, a patient has to come four, five, six times a year. I take a lot of medication, probably 30 pills a day. It's my Superman pills. I've been taking this for 22 years. It's like breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I mean, this is basically, you know, what my daily routine is, I take this in the morning and at night and take them at 10 and 10 and throw them all in. He's been taking medication for his whole life. Obviously, he has his ups and downs. He's more tired, he has palpitation, but he's pretty good at trying to deal with that. I push myself beyond what most recipients probably do. I don't regret anything that's happened to me. The only thing I regret is obviously people have lost lives so that I can be alive. And you know, I live with that. If anything, his conflicted feelings have only pushed him further, strengthening his resolve in fighting for organ donor awareness. I always feel like there's somebody watching out and keeping an eye on me. I feel like I'm living a life that, that they would want. Eric is what I call my little miracle boy. I met him about four years ago through the Transplant Foundation because my husband is also an organ recipient and had the pleasure of working with him on a lot of events. Compton's work with the Transplant Foundation is part of his personal quest to give back. We raise money for organ donor awareness for people in need of financial benefits after transplant. Currently there's over 110,000 people waiting for an organ here in the United States. We're trying to make it bigger and try to help make it a really worthy cause to make a difference in people's lives.